Hi guys, it's Ellen and today I have an art journal spread to share with you and I'm once again working with Tinchika Designs. Um, she is on Etsy and she sells lots of beautiful printables, I will link her down below. And I'm working today with the uh, wood pattern, wood grain papers and um, these come in lots of different colours, they're really really beautiful and there were a few creamy yellowy tones so I picked these ones out and I've trimmed off that little border that um, that came out while I printed them and I want to collage them on the page and I want to go from light in the middle um, and darker at the edges that was my idea so I've cut them roughly in half um, and then cut those pieces into little squares and separated them out and then I'm going to collage these on the page like I said going from the lightest to the darkest of those creamy yellowy tones um, and I'm just using matte gel medium to collage these um, just onto some white card it's a little bit smaller than a4 I think I cut it down by about a centimeter on two of the sides so half centimeter from each side um, just because my book that I put my art journal pieces in they that is a4 so I like to have a little border around it when I stick that in so yeah I'm just going around collaging these these pieces on the, on my card left my background to dry and I have a box where I put random things in that I want to use on my art journal and I have loads of these frames I have absolutely no idea where they're from I do not remember these frames but I was rooting through my box for some inspiration and these popped out so I went round all of the frames with vintage photo um, just because they were very white um, but the vintage photo didn't cover up any of the foiling on them so I was really pleased because I wanted that foiling still there I just didn't want them to be white I also used vintage photo and is it black soot the black distress ink um, to go around the border of my page I didn't want to cover up any of the beautiful um, wood grain design but I just wanted to make it a little bit darker on the edges I just like how that looks so I collaged the frames on there and just stuck them down with PVA glue and then I've taken this flower stamp and my black distress ink and passed that through the four corners as well. Again it darkens up the edges and just adds a bit of interest and that is all I add to the background um, mostly because like I said the paper itself is really pretty and I really liked the collage effect of that. I then have this woman, I cut her out from a old fashion book that I've got and I really liked her blue coat against the yellow tones of the background so I thought I would use her on this one and the way that she's looking, when I write my quote it looks like she's reading it so I really liked that. I added white splatters and then added my quote which says Creative creativity never goes out of style which works with the photo as well, with the woman as well. I added um, some blue around the edge just with a palette, li palette knife just to tie in the blue from her um, coat and I added the white splatters as well. And yeah, that's my page all finished. So I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thank you very much for being here. Bye guys.